Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah now we meet again and this session we are going to talk about respect others Respecting others meaning that respecting other people My dear brothers and sisters I would like to share with you one hadith This hadith is narrated by Tirmizi from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the meaning of the hadith is he is not one of us who is not merciful to our youngsters and does not respect and honor our elders so now the point here is that to love or to be merciful to the youngsters and also to respect the elders now our point is that we have to be able to respect the elders and how why what for the uh, respecting others um to be merciful to all people is one of the adab and ethic in islam so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam by the narration of anas ibn malik has said by him in whose hand my soul is Allah does not bestow his mercy except on merciful one. So that's mean by merciful to others, by respecting the elders, you will get mercy from Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, the companion said all of us are merciful. The prophet replied, not only has that each of you had mercy upon the other, but to have mercy also upon all people so what does it mean it means that all people regardless their background regardless their colors regardless their skin color regardless their language regardless their religions we have to respect all people now why do we need to respect these people okay according to one hadith it is actually a sign of respecting allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in order for you to respect Allah you have to first be able to respect other people now Abu Musa al-Ash'ari has reported that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it is out of reverence towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning that respect to Allah whenever you respect the wide headed aged muslim mashallah so whenever you respect the elders the one who has big in age yeah you are actually respecting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now there are certain practical example which has been conducted in the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as what narrated by abu hurairah prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the young should initiate salutation to the old what is the meaning of salutation the meaning of salutation is that you say salam you greet them first welcome them first and our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said the passerby should initiate salutation to the sitting one so the one who walk the one who pass by need to salute or give salam to the people who is sitting and the small group of person should initiate salutation to the large group of person so these are the three levels when you want to start salam first of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you have to compete to do good fasta bikul khairat compete in doing good but at the same time mashallah our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam shows us the way how we could respect others, how could we render our reverence towards Allah subhanahu wa taala by respecting our elders and other people. But our focus today is respecting the elders. Now, um, what we are also need to learn in the form of leading the prayer. Malik ibn Huwairiz narrated from Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when the time for prayer is due one of you need to be 
the imam. So one should announce azan and the oldest among you should lead the prayer. So this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam give the respect and the ways to the elders so that they can lead the rest and they know that they have to they have the very good quality of leadership in leading others. Okay, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in one hadith also mentioned, a Muslim is the brother of another Muslim. He should not alarm him, no lie to him, no disappoint him. The honor, property and blood of every Muslim is unlawful to another Muslim. So this hadith shows to us that we have to be sincere towards others. We have to respect others as much as we want to be respected by others. So in that sense, since we are one big family, how could we practice this? in our brainy bunch environment, in our campus, in our school, among each other. You and me, we are one big family. So there are certain learning points that we can grab from all hadiths that we mentioned just now. The first one is that in brainy bunch families, we have parents, we have the managers, we have division managers, we have our own friends, we have the children that we should deserve, they are deserved to be respected so number two if people don't respect others they are too do not respect themselves so if you are able to respect others you are actually respecting yourself number three respect is a feeling or show of honor or esteem or for someone so whenever you respect them you are giving them self-esteem right the sense of self-esteem number four respect needs patient so be patient to respect others number five respect is to make others feel that they are important you know whenever they feel important they will look at you the important person in their life too all right number six get greeting elderly you have to start to greet elderly serving them make them feel honored is actually part of sadaqah of course, we know we don't have enough money. We don't. We are not among the richest people in the world. But mashallah, Allah gave us chance to do sadaqah by just a simple act. That is greeting them, smile at them, and serving other people, especially elders. All right. Number seven, to get Allah's love is by first giving and love, respect others. Yeah. Okay, number eight, Allah will see the relationship with other people and with Allah. So the relationship with Allah is called Hablu min Allah. Allah observe this. Allah also observe the relationship between us and other human beings. So that is called Hablu min nas. So think of these two points, Hablu min Allah, the relationship with Allah and Hablu min nas the relationship with other fellow being so in order for us to be accepted we have to settle first our relationship with other fellow beings number nine benefit from elders by listening more and make their experiences as our guidance well you can grab a lot of benefit from elders just by listening to them so whenever you listen to them you will get the chance to get their experience learn from them so this listening skill or act of listening to them shows your respect to them too okay and last but not least elderly can be the one who is older in age also experienced one they are high in pose etc so elderly does not only means they are having a uh, bigger in age right so they are older in age but they are also those who are having experience even though they are much much younger than us or they are having a higher post but they have this trust they have been entrusted on certain amana so this is how we pay respect 
to them. So again, my dear sisters, my dear brothers in Islam, grab the chance to get Allah's attention by with the simple act that is respecting others, respecting the elders, and be merciful to young people. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.